Guess who got Wendy's? Oh snap! Look at this! Look at this! Baconator, Baconator, medium fry, medium fry, home of the original Frosty. Wendy's! I got Wendy's, guys. Deliciousness in a bag. So, uh, what you got there? I got a Baconator, a medium fry, and a Dr. Pepper. But it's still in my car. Uh, say, aren't you supposed to be on a diet right about now? Like, the whole New Year's thing, you know, get started with caloric intake. You're not doing that anymore? Oh, man. All work and no play. What's the fun in that? Man, I told you about all that fast food. You know what fast food is? Fast way to death. All right? Let me make you something. All right? You know I got it like that. Don't, don't I got it like that? Yeah. All right. No, man. I... Fast food means a fast way to get your food. I don't want to eat your home cooked slop. I All right, pay. we're going. Oh. I paid for it with my own money. It's a nice deal. You yeah. can even have uh, some. You know what? You know what? You know what? Much more You're gonna eat some of this because you know you need to eat better. You're the one who said, new year, new me, I'm going to lose some weight, I'm going to do better. You're going to eat this meal How because it's going to be nutritious and delicious. Bacon and mozzarella cheese. No, no, so you, so you never heard about this, all right? You've never, oh! Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Gut Busters. They call me Chef Black RD. Today, wow. we'll be- Black RD, that's a stupid name. I've never even heard of it. Really? Whole time? I'll shut up. You're not going to do this. I'll shut up. All right, we're gonna have a wonderful meal. All right, so today we are having spaghetti carbonara. Simple. I know that might sound like something you guys have never had before, but you know what? I got you. All right, so the ingredients we're gonna need today are some bacon, mozzarella cheese, or any cheese you can afford, spaghetti, some fresh eggs, not organic, because you know, we don't live in California. A little bit of Paula Deen, also known as butter. And of course, all of the seasonings that everyone's gonna need to make their food delicious. I actually need to borrow some salt from my fries. Let's get started. All right, so first what you gotta do is, the spaghetti is gonna take the longest to cook, so you're gonna start with that. What I like to do is, I like to season my water a little bit. Right here's a little Tony Chichides, give it a little spice. All right, so we're gonna throw a little of that in there. You know, get nice. A little bit of honey chichines in there, get a little spice. Just a little bit of salt, you know, they say it helps make the water boil faster, it's not true, it's just cholesterol. All right, we're gonna throw a little spaghetti in there. You know, you're usually supposed to wait for the water to boil, but you know, who has that kind of time? You know what I'm saying? We just gotta take a handful like that, and we just gonna toss it in there. I know how it goes. You know, you gotta be generous. You know, when they say a handful, that means a handful. All right. All right, so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and prep this meat. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and get our dairy popping and our eggs. I'm gonna come right up here and grab a little plate. You know what I'm saying? Pull it out. Oh, I'll put it on here so. <clears throat> We're gonna get this bacon going right here. Also, just as a little bonus right here, you guys gonna like this. I'm gonna put a little bit of Koneka sausage in with the mixture. Now that does that's not in the recipe. That's my own little added bonus. You're gonna like it. Alright, so we're just gonna cut this up into little We're gonna cut this up into little pieces right here. Because you know you wanna have it bite-sized so when we're when we saute it down later, you know, you don't have to worry about having too many chunks or anything. You know, you don't want grandma to choke while she's eating or anything, you know. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bacon and I'm gonna shred it a little bit. Um, now you can do this after you cook it as well, if it's so inclined to you, but I'm gonna pre-do it so then once it's cooked, I'm done. I don't have to worry about separating it later. And it's gonna be good to go. All right, 
So now that the meat is nice and ready to go, we're going to put that to the side right over here. Or you can just buy a Baconator. Yeah, you're right. And you can just buy yourself some insurance, health insurance, where you're sitting in there with a cardiac infarction. You know what that is? No. We're going to come right over here. We're going to grab the eggs out of the... Uh, oh, oh, all right. <coughs> wow. Okay, well, see, I'm getting cracked in my noggin. We're about to crack some eggs. There you go, right there. So, I hurt my arm. <coughs> We're gonna grab these eggs right here. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna grab a few crackers. Uh, probably like two or three because these are not gonna go in until around the very end. Alright, so we on these are pretty large eggs. If you got extra large, you can really use like two. I'm gonna use actually you know what I'm gonna use two. Alright, you're gonna use all of that protein. Eggs going right here. Down there. Wonderful. And I'm just gonna get a quick little whisk on that right there. Uh, we're gonna get some seasoning. We got a seasoning egg, a little salt. I still need that salt. And what you need to do, you know what, I don't have time for this. I don't a little bit of pepper. Heart attack. See what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the cheese right into the egg. And like, the egg. But see what's gonna happen is the egg is gonna be like the glue later on. So it's you want that to be right in your egg so that you don't have you don't want to just sprinkle it on top because we're not making that kind of dish. Something simple, now we'll keep it simple for you guys. Alright? Just gonna fold that in a little bit, get a nice shot at it. Nice and there. Um, Looks like vomit. It, going to be vomiting when you keep eating all that trash. So we're going to put that to the side as well. Now we're going to come back over to the pasta right over here. All right. So I'm going to throw this away real you know quick. You know what? You need to get ready to throw away your life. All them high calories and cholesterol. I was just going to throw it away. You, you know, know what? Me, I'm going to leave it the All right. So we're going to check on the pasta right here. All right, so as you can see, our pasta is boiling kind of like our tempers in here. It's a little heated. So what we're going to do is now that that's done, we're going to come right up here. We're going to turn that off, and we're going to grab some uh, precautions because you don't want to burn yourself. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to grab this right here. We've already turned it off, and we're just going to grab it up. Now it's time to strain it. So we come right over here. I'm just going to pour that right in there. Now, actually, what we're going to do is we're not going to pour out all the pasta water. We're going to keep a little bit of it for later. It's going to be for texture purposes, so we're going to keep a little bit of that for the flavor and everything. And everything else is going to go right in there. I should strain that. Wonderful. And then we're going to be careful because this is hot now. So we're going to give that a nice little shake. Uh -huh. Then we're just going to go. We're just going to take our pasta. Here, we're going to put it in a separate bowl for it to be used. Ooh, got a lot there. That's going to be delicious. Uh -huh. And then we're going to take our extra pasta water and we're just going to put this off to the side. Actually, what we're going to do, we're going to put this next to the stove so it's ready to go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start our pan right here. Get it on about medium-high heat. All right. We're going to throw a little bit of oil in there. Actually, we're not going to throw the oil in there. Since you have fat from your meats right here, most of your meats, you don't need extra oil because you don't want to burn the house down, all right? And most of you watch are probably like 13 anyway. So, you know, you don't know about what, what do you do with a grease fire? Uh, do you know, what do you do with a grease fire? I don't care. Right. All right, so we're going to take our meat here and throw it right in the pan. And then once that gets hot, we're going to hear that sizzle. It's going to hit that you want to come over here and do it? Frankly, no, because I bought a Baconator and I ate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Baconator. <coughs> what you look like. Big piece of beef. All right, so we got our meat going right here. All right. Alright, you know what, just 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the other way. I can do this. Hold I can do this. Oh, are you feeling good? Yeah, yeah. you can terrible ways. Uh -huh. really? Might as well get this over with. Yeah, oh, okay. I see. So, let me ask you, how are we going to season that? With the season? Uh, you know is. what? Back up out my kitchen, man. Alright, so. That's what I'm saying. The meat right here, you want to make sure it's good. They got a nice brown on it. And I want you, to, I want you guys to look nice in the pan right there. You see those juices and those fats? We're not going to strain that. We're going to keep that in there for two reasons. A, it's going to give you some flavor. And B, it's going to help when you throw the pots and everything else in there. Keep it from sticking and add to those juices. All right, so we're just going to keep moving that around. Now, we're going to get a little bit of seasoning right here. Now, what I like to use, because I'm, I'm keeping it a little spicy today. All right, so we're going to throw a little bit of uh, chili powder right in there. Just a little bit. You don't want to overdo it. You know, just to give it a little color, a little flavor. All right. Throw a little bit of that in there. All right. Also, what we're gonna throw in here too, because it's carbonara, so it's Italian. We can grab a little bit of garlic. Now, I meant to get some mixed garlic on the body, but I we didn't go shopping. Okay, we got a little budget over here at the set, so we got some mixed garlic. You can same thing. It's all garlic. You know four what I'm saying? Four Wendy's, four bucks. That's oh. all you gotta pay. Yeah, you know what you need? The four signs of a stroke. You know what it is? Face drooping, left arm pain. What's the other two? doesn't matter. So we're going to throw the garlic right up in here and we'll keep that. And look, you can't even tell the difference. It looks just like this garlic. Same thing. And the smell, I, I wish you guys could smell it. Mmm. Mmm. Alright. All right. Now here comes my favorite part. And this is also where we're coming to a close. Everything is going to end up in this one pan. It's all going to come together. It's going to simmer down a little bit. The juices are going to look. Alright. So we're going to come back over to our that in there. All right. And you know, we got a pretty generous amount. So, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna work that in. Work that paper. Hold that right there. You're just gonna, you're gonna wanna flip it a little bit, get all the juices going right there. Actually, I said you let that juice go right here. You're just gonna, you know, move it all in there. It's all gonna flip down so you, know, you don't have to toss it or anything. Toss it out the window. Oh man, I hear you, bro. I hear you. Same way you were tossing that baconator down your throat, huh? Now just go ahead and flip that. It's all right if something come out, you know, that's part of the experience. We're gonna take a little bit more seasoning, just a little bit. So it really, I, I guys, I really wish you were here to smell them. Let me just get in there one more time. Oh my God, it's so good, the garlic and everything else. So now, the part that I know everyone's probably asking about, like, yo, what is he doing with this crazy looking thing? I'm not going to lie, this looks like a little bit of baby vomit and worms. I'm sorry. Exactly what I said. You know, no, I know now you guys don't want to eat it, but believe me, it's egg and cheese. So what you're going to do is you're going to cascade it right over the top. You know, you're going to put it all in there, you know, and make sure you get all of it, and then you're going to go ahead and get a nice stir on everything, so that all that cooks down, and it's going to add like a little cream to the top of it only, but not really, it's going to cook down, but it's going to bring everything together like a, a pasta glue, if you will, and it's going to give it some flavor and everything else, so what we're going to do is we're going to let that go up a little bit, flip it, toss it, let it do what it do. You can even see the eggs cooking a little bit in there. And we want those to cook down. It almost looks like a breakfast platter. We got a little sausage and bacon, some egg going on. Alright. We're gonna just spin that up a little bit. Get the egg everywhere. Now we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our heat down. We'll bring that way, way down. Okay, and then we're just gonna toss the top on it and let it get a little bit cook time going. on it from the egg. Oh my god, it looks so great. Now, this 
this is where the pasta water is going to come in. This is how you determine if you actually need it or not. And we got it right here on the side. So what happens is you got all these earthy, not earthy, but you got all these thick, hearty ingredients. You know, you got your meats, your egg, pasta. So it gets really thick. If you can tell, I kind of, kind of got to stab into the pasta and move it around. So the water there is to keep it consistency because you want it to be clean. When you make a pasta dish like this, you want cleanliness. You don't want it to be too thick. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my fork real quick. And I'm just going to take a quick sample there and we're going to see if it's too thick or what. simmer in there that's how you know it's in there and you're just gonna let that cook down too like you did before I'm just gonna toss that up so you keep it nice and creamy so I'm gonna put the lid back on and we'll be right back got busters baby stupid name since he doesn't like to keep it healthy. I eat so salads. We're going to throw a little bit of green on there. We're just going to take some of this, get a nice, handsome portion. You know, same way they do it at Olive Garden. We got our own Olive Garden. Here you are family, believe that. All right, so make sure you get you some meat in there, too. Just get a little bit of that, you know. Grab your fork right there, scoop that up right there. Bam. Get celery in there on the side. Wonderful. Plate that right there. And another plate for the big man in charge over here. That would be me. And uh, that's it, folks. You know what I'm saying? A simple carbonara. Very simple ingredients. Under $10, I'm sure. You know, a little bit of egg, a little spaghetti noodle. Uh, your choice of meat. Get yourself some bacon sausage. You're really supposed to use bacon, but you know, use whatever you can afford. A little bit of cheese, and you are in there. So I just like to say. First of all, that's delicious. Go ahead and try yourself some of that right there, Buck. Now watch this. He's going to love it. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Mm, there it is, folks. That's some gut busters for you. Not only did we bring somebody over to the healthy side, we kept it cheap to put you to sleep when you're done. I mean, so it's still pasta. It's not really healthy. You know what? You're done. Gut busters, we kept it cheap. We're going to 